Hi, this is Colette Marie Stephan, and you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network, and we're live on Facebook. We're going to be on YouTube uh, later. Um, this is um, the Tales from the Vector show, and I love this one. This is when um, I, I've been doing three card readings. Um, I've got really, really exciting news, and uh, I also wanted to say I am taking callers today, uh, 1-800-930-2819. I'm in the mood to make some shift happen. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, and I just want to thank everybody. <laughs> I just feel so blessed and so loved. I had such a good day yesterday and the day before, and I have plans for today also a little bit. Um, one of those is getting out in the sun because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here. And so I've been, um, this show, I, you know, I've been really like connecting with, um, clients more on a one-to-one -one basis since um, all of this has happened and on today's show I just wanted to kind of uh, let everybody know what I'm up to and shift some energy for people here that call in I've had some people with some pretty um, challenging things happening in their lives and then I've had some people you know that are having some really amazing things and then there's a mixture of both and um, what what I wanted want to here for you today is just some of the energy of that I've been experiencing in the last couple days um, just it, it's just been so much fun to just reconnect with people a little bit you know because when it's your birthday people feel like oh, okay I'm gonna call <laughs> and just talking you know and making that time for each other um, you know relatives and people from the past and texts and I haven't even gone on social media yet I plan to do that um, this afternoon later on um, just because I love to um, connect with all of you and uh, on today's show I really wanted to focus kind of on moving forward in the future some more because it's been challenging and the latest events um, are are you know it's every day <laughs> it's just like um, you it's really, really interesting for me, and I've had so many insights in the last, um, probably even more in the last couple of months, when, you know, I really decided that, okay, I, I am going to absolutely move forward and do my best with my business, and I'm absolutely going to get a website and work on it and get this going, and... Um, my, my online program, I'm really excited about them now and I'm really like, um, really like getting really big downloads and how to say things in a different way. And, you know, I, I was thinking about that because I've been going back in time to back when I first started, um, sharing this information and it really, really, really is, um, you know, going back to that and going through all the past. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> um, like, like, you know, like the the, you know, and but you look back and you think, how did I get all that done? That's what I'm thinking when I look back. I'm like, whoa, I got a lot done, but not so much about done, but so much growth during that time when I was so determined to. Um, share this information and move forward and I, I didn't really know how I was going to do it so I started you know taking courses and making plans to move forward in that way and I feel like that's what I want to share with you like when I look back at my journey I'm like whoa and I decided like there's so many people from this area because I moved out here from Saskatchewan which is like a province over and Canada is a very big country and so I would fly from Saskatchewan out here, and every year I think I counted seven or eight years at the Spring Festival of Awareness, which went for 38 years. And so I have pictures <laughs> from way back um, of all these beautiful people that, you know, still 
um, are passionate about what they're doing or were when I last saw them at the fair, you know, that was back in, in uh, January, I guess. So um, it's, I realized that, you know, it's really, really interesting because through the years, I've, I spoke about this before, that a lot of people find it really challenging to, um, when they get, when they take courses and that, to be able to start a website and to, that's what stops a lot of people. And it's because um, when you're putting something online like that, you have to really look at yourself again and, and really go through it. And I, uh, for myself, I have been so busy doing and creating programs and being out there and doing it. And now this last year has allowed me to kind of whoop, pull it all inward, pull in the energy for myself so that I can be really strong for others. And, um, you know, for those of you that are out there that are, are going through a lot of hardship, and I know you are, um, there's always sort of something in it that you can get out of it. That's what I find even when I look back. And I'm not talking about um, turning a negative into a positive or a positive into a negative even for that matter. It's more about um, looking at your situation and then having um, like uh, going inward to, to decide, okay, which, which of these solutions is going to be the best one at this time. And it may not be what was beneficial for you like back even a couple months ago and so i've had a lot of people like coming forward like uh texting emailing and that and and a lot of times people will message me and i find it so fascinating because um when i look at like my my social media and that my numbers are low and it's like you know like uh, like all that i don't i've never really even looked at that too much because um I found out in like over the years that just because people aren't um, necessarily uh, like on wanting to express publicly that they have an interest in this, um, they are very like they'll send me messages and say uh, like you really made a huge difference in my life and I don't know what I would have done without you at that time and. Uh, and I've had a lot of people say that. And so that was my goal is to strengthen everybody right now. And if um, just do a general energetic and just see which cards come up right now. Um, that's what I'm going to do right away here. But in the meantime, what I just wanted to say is like when you are doing this uh, process and you're rebranding, that's, you know, it's like, <clears throat> it's so scary because it's kind of like, um, well, who am I now? And do I still want to do it that way? And then you have to look back at all the mistakes <laughs> and when you didn't know how to do things as well. And also um, looking back at how um, things happen. And, you know, I'm finding going back, because I'm going back 15 years. And um, as I said, I'm going to share that maybe in stories on Facebook and that because it's got so many fun pictures from like years ago. <laughs> but it's kind of like it brought me back to that place where like when you're going through the past, if you're like beating yourself up the whole time, well, I should have done this and I should have done that. And that's kind of, and I spoke a little bit about that last week about, you know, when you have the, um, I showed you my, all my thank yous, <laughs> my why. And for me to continue to be this passionate about my work for 15 years is because it's what I, I really, really, um, am, I love it. And so for me, uh, working long hours isn't the same as for someone else maybe that's in a position where they really aren't that happy with what they're doing. And I've noticed that so much with myself. Um, like how I love working, so I work lots of hours, you know, and sometimes people say, well, Colette, why are you work so many hours? Because I love it. <laughs> I like I like taking knowledge and then putting it together and drawing and all of that. So um, I want to talk a little bit, you know, about when we come back after the break, I want to talk a little bit more just about my good news 
and then I'm going to do a general shift. And I think we we have someone calling in. And if we do, um, we'll take your call right after this. So this is Colette Marie Stephan. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. Um, we're live on Facebook and we'll be on YouTube later. And thank you so much, everybody. I'm having a really good birthday. We'll be right back. Marie Stephan, you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio and we're all, or Network, and we're also live on Facebook, and my co-host just joined me, but then she changed her mind, <laughs> that was Stella. Um, so we're talking today, I wanted to talk today about, first and foremost, to say thank you so much to everybody for all the birthday wishes, and I'm going to get on Facebook and take a look there, because it's fun to really connect with all of you, and I really appreciate um, all of you taking your time to connect with me in that way. Um, I'm really excited. We're making good progress with the website. And my good news is <laughs> I'm finished the deck, um, the paintings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I finished it last month. And my good friend Jenny um, drove uh, from Penticton and brought the paintings back for me after they've all been scanned. And when we get the new website up and working, the paintings will be available. Um, uh, the, the, the deck is going to be a little while yet. <laughs> um, so that's my good news. And so this is something I've been working on for 14 years now. And I'm just, like, it's so weird because it's kind of like when you put that, m m that much energy, time into something, and then it's done, it's kind of changes, like, oh, like maybe I like to paint babies or puppies, <laughs> you know? And so I was just really, you know, you know, thinking about all these different aspects that a lot of people are going through right now and recognizing that kind of everybody out there is going through sort of like a rebranding process like I am because you can't go through what we're going through as a whole unit and let, like as a whole without um, it changing people fundamentally. And so I really, really um, have a strong, strong um, faith that there's a lot of really good people out there. I talk to good people all the time. And we are all, like when they say we're all in, all, in this all together, we are and we are also individuals in this. And so as I'm going through my website and I'm finding new ways to get across what I've been saying, it's just like I'm, I'm having all these lucid dreams and it's just like, oh, just do it. I wake up and I go and I start drawing and I, uh, that's how I see things in pictures. And so it's given me like such a different perspective like this whole year because when I think about it, it has been a very long time since I've been able to just go inward in, in this many days in a row. Um, I'm not turning this like negative into a positive. I'm just saying that um, when we are in a situation like this, if there is something that you have a goal that you want to work towards, um, or you thought maybe you always wanted to be this or that, or you didn't know that um, you could sing, or you you know you took up a course <laughs> like I did it, and it just all of a sudden integrated all your work, and it was like a bonus, you know. And so that that's what I want to strengthen for everybody is to once again lower the fear and recognize that although this is really challenging. In some ways, the discipline required to move through this for each person on this planet right now, we all, the more disciplined we are the, um, in, our, like, to, in, in our mind, to not allow ourselves to run with the fear. And if we can carry ourselves in that way wherever we go, and nobody can do that 100% of the time. Um, but what I'm saying is when you get into that place where you're in the eye of the storm rather than you're like flying around with everybody else, then you're more likely 
to be able to just your just by it's like tuning into like a calm radio station you know like this one <laughs> turn off the noise and just you know chill out a little bit and I really feel like with all the astrological um, aspects that are happening right now and the fact that um, like my good friends there in U the USA you guys just had um, um, a holiday weekend and you know there's another one coming up and people are who tired um, that's what a lot of people are saying to me I just feel exhausted so I'm going to just draw three cards for the collective here I'm sorry I had to pop out of the screen because I do have um, my co-host on my lap again <laughs> and she's really um, she um, has been like really 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 feeling the energy too uh, I um, animals are a really good indicator um, in the house because they will pick up your energy and so I was having a very bad dream around 3 30 in the morning and she was so kind as to jump off the headboard and jump on my head and wake me up <laughs> and let me know, Colette, the raccoons are coming through. <laughs> and so, um, you know, cat, uh, that, like, she, she just flashes me a picture and then I could hear them because they pass through the yard usually around 2, two to 4 in the morning. And, but raccoons, a shaman would tell you a raccoon means that people are wearing masks. <laughs> that um, like every animal has like um, a message to bring and so when they're having a party out here and they're all wearing masks um, you have to wonder okay like what you know it, it, and then I, I dissected the dream and it, it's it's very interesting um, right now for me because um, having for um, the first time in a very long time, time to really go inward and really, okay, this is how I want to say it and this is how I want to do it. And this is, it's just been such a blessing for me. <laughs> and so, um, and, and that, it doesn't surprise me. Um, in the deck, this is the Hierophant card. And this is my homeostasis card. So this is about, um, if you can see it, and I apologize, I was late getting everything to my team today because I went, I went to renew my driver's license yesterday. Um, I had to, or two days ago, and I had to have it done, but it took all day, basically, because of all the different regulations and getting through and making an appointment. And it was, a, a, um, like, it took me pretty much all day. So if anyone is out there, and I started 12 days before I had to have it done. So um, anyone out there that is um, wanting to renew licenses and stuff, call, if you can, like a good month before right now because they have like so many people. They have to have all the distance and all. It's just, it, it was like, <laughs> took time. But anyway, when it did, I just noticed how people were taking it. And a lot of people were feeling very, some people were very, um, really like irritated and then I realized oh it's the full moon and there was this beautiful young woman working there and you can't even imagine like her job was so challenging to calm all these people down and direct people and you know I looked over at her and I said to her you are doing a really good job and she said are you sure <laughs> and I said yes I am I'm sure you're doing a good job it's very challenging what you're doing and she started to tears and she said, thank you. I really, really needed to hear that. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm so glad that I, you know, that I, I spoke up. And so remember that, that there is, you know, um, don't take things personally that trigger you out on the people that are doing their best just to feed their families, et cetera, right now. And it's like, it's just, it, it was um, a challenging day. And this is really interesting because this card here that's come up now is the Otherworldly Desires card. So Otherworldly world, Desires are basically more about... Um, I, it's it's it, it's a karmic space that um, that people fall into worldly desires and otherworldly desires. 
So I just want to get everybody strong to that. The Hierophant card, by the way, is a card of stability and of authority and judgment. So um, we want to really, and it's also my card of homeostasis. Homeostasis is the, um, your body's natural ability to return to perfect 100% health. And it is um, extremely beneficial for um, that card coming up right now. So we're just going to strengthen that, that recognizing that the body um, knows how to heal itself. And so getting everybody like just calm about your body, <laughs> about the actual um, action of breathing is coming up. And then see when people are in a lot of change and it's like not change that they feel they have any control over it it can really trigger some people who maybe like you don't know necessarily what other people well, no one really knows what another person is going through but um it's really important right now not to jump to conclusions about people uh and to allow people to have their maybe little moments and, and so, like, this card um, is one of the favorite cards in the deck, actually. And that makes me really happy. Like, it, it, so far, the cards are coming up pretty good for the three-card consultation. Now, here is um, another karmic space that people tend to fall in. And this is the karmic space of anger. And so... Um, we talk about that um, anger is the gift that keeps on giving what that means is um, a lot of people will motivate themselves with anger to get through times like this and so sometimes when you see someone really blowing up or whatever it may be that they're using their anger to motivate them and so we're just going to strengthen that um, for everybody that recognizing there is something at, um, a, a, such a thing as righteous anger when you know that you're like that it's damaging other people etc so it's going to strengthen everybody to their righteous anger and then also not using anger as a motivational tool to get stuff done right now it's not going to it it, it anger just creates more anger and and irritation so um, when we come back, um, I'll do another three-card consultation, or we'll do one for anyone who calls in, 1-800-930-2819. We're live on Facebook, and we're also um, on uh, YouTube later. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network and we're live on Facebook. I'm, um, this is the Tales from the Vector Show. We're doing three card uh, consultations today and we're, I've been talking uh, about um, just everybody doing their best to remain calm because we did have a, 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 um, a full moon and it was the second one this month which they call a blue moon. And there was also an eclipse. <laughs> so, you know, like, be gentle on yourselves a little bit. Anyone who's ever worked um, in the hospital, uh, uh, you know, in bars, etc., and knows on the full moon, uh, and that, that's usually two days before and two days after. People might be a little bit touchy. <laughs> Just warning you. So especially women. <laughs> So I'm just um, speaking of women. Uh, we uh, we have a caller here. Can you please put her on, David? Yeah. We Who have, do we have? Yeah, we have <laughs> Karina from uh, California. Karina, you're on with Colette on the Truth Is Funny. Karina. Karina. Hello. Let me see. Oh. We'll see. Okay, Karina. Hello. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe we lost her. Oh, we have another. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think we lost her. Okay. All right. We'll take her after. Do we? We. We'll take the other caller and then. Okay. Let's see. We have. So we have. Hello? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Karina. 
Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there you go, Karina. Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Yes, now we can. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that kind of morning, hasn't it, David? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> That's because I'm all happy and excited, and the dragons are all happy because um, the paintings are done, and they're all vying for attention, and I've been moving them around the house. <laughs> it's just been <laughs> one of, it's just, um, the energy awesome. is very, very high in my house right now. Like It's like the, the vibration because I've just been – enjoying um talking to so many people and and you know that raises your vibration when you laugh a lot and you're enjoying yourself so here we go we have you here what 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 can i do for you today well i have been having a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. um it, it's not it's kind of related to me um and uh just the, the energy you know, um, just uh, in general, I've been trying to keep my vibrations really high and and do my best. And uh, it's been working for myself. I know, like you said, you got to keep those vibrations high. And I completely agree. I've been trying to be very, very positive. Um, okay, so that's, that's part of the that problem is. I'm getting um, for you. So uh, when, when um, you get in touch with it, when people come on the radio show, I like to get a baseline just so we can see where someone's at. And so what's coming up is um, on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being like hair on fire, press the panic button, I don't want it, I want out of this, and 0 being uh, I'm totally neutral, I can handle it. Where would you say you are right now on that scale? You know, I am, um, I'm at a 5 because I don't yeah. even know what's going on. So I'm like at a 5. <laughs> right that that you're explaining and I, I like i love this because you are basically when i tune into the collective whole you are at um the mark of like five which is sort of like that in between energy and caught in the middle mm -hmm. energy um not sure energy which is totally understandable when you consider what's happening. Where, where are you from? I'm from California. Yeah, so there's a lot happening in your country right now. And, you know, in our country, in Canada, our, our politicians just met again I, or for the first time since all this started in person two, two days ago or something. So it's just been like, what the hell's going on? But, you know... Um, <laughs> There's no point in you, like, um, upsetting your, your equilibrium. I'm not saying put your head in the mm -hmm. sand and pretend this isn't happening. And that's the problem when people try to turn a negative into a positive. You can't. It's impossible. <laughs> it's it's, it's mm -hmm. not possible. So what, but what you can well, you gotta do... you've got to be realistic. It's, it's, well, you know, um, I'm the, you, I just love this because I've been working, as I said, on my website and I've been coming up with new uh, ways of explaining this. And so if you consider the fact that your reality is kind of like a picture by picture frame and that you're in that reality and if you observed yourself from far away, you would be seeing the big picture because you would be looking down upon it. And you would have a bigger mm -hmm. scope of what was going on. Um, when we go inward, that allows us like to see from inside, <laughs> which is mm -hmm. actually more about the, um, you see, when people, this is so interesting. This is one of the fundamental things that has been coming up for me. And I'm getting it's a big deal here for a lot of people right now. It, it, it's testing that um, everybody's weak to image right now. So the image of what things are supposed to be and then of what they really are. And so when I was doing a lot of the face yoga, like um, studying for that, and, you know, and I've been doing it, like, but I was putting hours and hours and hours into studying that, I started to notice, like, why is it that people are more uncomfortable when they see themselves on video or on photographs 
some people love seeing themselves like that. Those are what we call actors, actresses, politicians. <laughs> a lot of them are politicians mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. right? They've all, a lot of them have already been in that. And then we've also got, um, you know, um, the, the, the reflection that we see in the mirror. And so when you look in the mirror, you're seeing a, a direct reflection of yourself. And so that's what, that's how you see yourself. That's how you're used to seeing yourself. And when you see an image of yourself, that is actually more like your image that other people, that's how other people see you. And so what's coming up is you hit a really big thing and that's what I, I couldn't put the word on it. Um, and now I have the word, it's about image. It's kind of like a lot of people had an image of themselves before all this happened. And now that image of themselves is gone. And like some people are skinnier, heavier. Some, pe some people change the color of their hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so <laughs> we're just going to pick right, right. I totally do. <laughs> but you are expressing yeah. so much what so many people are saying to me when I connect with them is that they feel like they don't like what do i do there's no um there's no like context for this for a lot of people having said that that's when you have the blank canvas <laughs> i'm an artist so you know i don't get scared of a blank canvas like my team gets scared when i find a blank canvas <laughs> because i'm i have no shortage yeah. of ideas you know what i'm saying so, like, this is so interesting mm -hmm. because you are bringing up the first card here is my, um, this is one of the tactics card. And this is about, this is the holiday card. This is about um, a distraction, like people being distracted from their goals by all the days that we're supposed to um, consider the special days. And then... The other days, like our, like my birthday is special, um, but I like to celebrate my birthday every day. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. like, you know what? I mean, ta if I was this happy every day, everybody would be better off <laughs> around here. <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> so I uh, just want to <laughs> check in with your number because I just felt your number shift when you laughed there. Yeah. Yeah, what number would you say you're okay. at now? Well, I would say a seven. <laughs> yeah. Are you like? Are you going back? Because I got a three. Are you going down or are you going up? Ten is like really freaked out. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No. You oh, got yeah, yeah. seven. I'm I got down. three. Sorry. Sorry. I, uh, Opposite. No. It's it's going. It's getting better. <laughs> okay. So this is so interesting. Now this is something that I want to point out to you and thank you for is there was no need for you to say sorry to me because that was just an energetic weakness that you had at that moment. And then you were like, oh, I'm, that's not bothering me anymore now. And you can't even remember right now what it is if I asked you, can you? In that split second, what was mm -hmm. bothering you? Uh, I'm getting you just shifted There's a whole nothing bunch. Else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did, did you yes definitely you a, shift it up do you have a number now yes i would say a seven uh, i mean a, a three a three three two like a three two yeah. a lot of these See, that's problems it, are not even two. my own problems you know <laughs> these are not <laughs> no, my problems two. i'm doing it's great <laughs> thank god <laughs> a two <laughs> is just it's just your perception. So what right. happens mm -hmm. if someone is really, really, really challenged and then all of a sudden in a split second, they're like, hey, that doesn't even bother me as much. That quite often bothers people <laughs> not to be bothered. So we're just going to say to everybody, we don't have to all go around being bothered all day because we're bothered that things aren't the same as they used to be. They might be better. Right? We're all going to, like, if you want to have a better future, then you need to participate in it. Right? 
So the car, and this, I love mm-hmm. this. You couldn't make this up. This card um, is my innocence card. <laughs> I love this. This is my <laughs> birthday present confirming, oh, yeah, we're on the right track here. Because this card is about innocence, and that's what I'm writing about. When I first um, started doing um, energy work, and then I decided, okay, I'm going to go and share this information with people. I used to bring Buzz Lightyear crayons and say, just use those to take notes. (laughs) And um, because I wanted to put people into a childlike, innocent state where they're not judging everything, everything, everything. And um, it worked a little bit. And then I realized in 2017 when I brought out my Call to Dance program, I just made coloring books. And so I did 90 drawings for each one. And as people were in the seminar, if they got triggered, they they would be coloring and they would remain calm. And then I could slide in an energetic shift and it wouldn't even bother them because their Mm. logical mind was busy um, doing something logical, it allows the other the, the, the creative solution to come through. And so we're just going to strengthen everybody to that. Let's, th- this is going to be um, in my uh, in, in the tarot, this card would be the star. And so this is about new beginnings. Um, we're, we've moved into the age of Aquarius. Um, maybe now that we've all, like, I'm not trying to turn a negative into a positive here, but I look at it and I, I test, okay, what is better than it was before? And one of the things for me that's better than it was before is I finally am able to do this, which is going to save me a whole bunch of time down the road. And so my logical Thank mind you. was saying, oh my God, you know, you can't just not do that. And then my, my, my uh, intuitive um, self was saying, I could feel, no, you're right on course. <laughs> and so sometimes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's hard to feel like you're on course right now, isn't it? Like, it really is. Up. Even I, I want to go back, I want to go back to school. And you just made me think, like, should I be using this time to go back to school since I do have more time? Like you said, hold on, just, you know, hold on, it's a negative and a positive. Okay, stop for a second there. Hold on just for a second. I just got to check with David. Can we just skip the break, David? Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. Because, like, she's really expressing. Um, this is what I was working on for, like, I got up at about um, four this morning and I started working on, you know, on my website and because uh, I had this big download. And when you dream and something comes to you like that, um, it's really good to grab it. If it's intuitive like that, grab it. (laughs) Don't assume that you're going to remember four hours later, right? This is how your, this is how your intuitive self self is um, um, allowing you to have some insight at this time. And so we're going to strengthen that for everybody. Okay. Um, That, there are answers. They're just not the same answers that would have been applicable, say, six months ago. And if you take the judgment out of that, whether that's good or bad or positive or negative, then, I, and, and I want to make this very clear when I say that, that neutrality is not about indifference. Neutrality is about being able to calm down go inward and assess the situation and then get still be calm and before taking action before speaking before acting out and it all happens like that in a split second when you're doing an energetic shift so that's why you got stuck at the two percent so people who tend to watch a lot of bad news and, ha- and, and um, uh, you know, like um, things that are a little bit more um, aggressive even. For a small child, um, when my children were little, they could not, we couldn't watch the news because they would have nightmares. So it's, it's you know, like there's a lot going on and a lot of times when people are at this place where they are really 
kind of have the rug pulled out from how they basic life is, what happens is it can really, like the small little trigger like that, could you don't know that person could have been like um, in a real um, in a situation where they were robbed or something and it could trigger back their um, you know all of their fears around that and so it may seem like someone's overreacting but maybe they are just having a really strong um, reaction to what's going on because it's accumulated and now they just like it's they just it, it's like the straw that they call it the straw that uh, breaks the camel's back. And so then I love this. Right. <laughs> this is the next card. This and is that's what integrity. happened with me. I actually mm -hmm. did hear uh, some news that startled me, and I panicked. And then I told my family about it. <laughs> and then uh, they didn't panic too much, but. I did panic. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, so this is what I want to bring up to you. Would it do you more good? Would it do the world more good for you to take a course right now to study, to improve yourself? Or would it be better for you to sit here and worry? Hmm. Worry is... That's a good is, point. Yeah, worry is the number one weakness for every child, a mother's worry. And yet, we as mothers, and trust me, I know this one pretty good. My mom used to brag that she was the best worrier ever. Because <laughs> she felt if she worried, <laughs> if she worried enough, she would worry her whole family out of having any problems. <laughs> but it didn't work. <laughs> mm. And it's not going to work now. Mm -hmm. So what we all want to do is just go back to that place of calm. Right. <sighs> Breathe. Now, what me. number are you at? <sighs> it doesn't take a long time. Just feel it and tell me. Do you feel different now? Um, yes, I, I do feel different. I, I I really shouldn't worry um, and just uh, well, you don't. It's not about think, it's not about shouldn't worry. But, well, it's more about hmm. um, it's it's more about not shoulda, woulda, coulda, but what happened. And what can we do with this now? Um, I just want to check in with you, Dave. What time is it? It is 8.52. Okay, just let me know when we're three minutes before. Just tell me yeah. because I'm really, like, there's a lot of energy coming in from a lot of people, and I don't keep time very well when I'm correcting like this. Exactly. So I, I want to use you. I want to continue to use you as our kind of our baseline here. When you get in touch with the thought of it right now, the thought that maybe um, you could take a course or you could do something that would improve yourself. How does that feel to you? It, well, yes, there's a mixture of feelings there. It's a, it's a mixture of stress. Okay, because what was coming and up? And being prepared. Yeah, what was coming up is that you have some experiences from your childhood still, and it's coming up, um, like, even younger than child, like, like when you went to school, but it's, it's kind of like of never feeling like you are enough. So we're just, everybody out there, a lot of people are expressing this to me right now. Like, I just don't feel like I'm enough. I'm not good enough or I'm too much. <laughs> I've been told that a lot. You're too much. You're not enough. True. You're too much. Mm -hmm. You're not enough. Which is it? <laughs> Especially if it's the same person saying it to you, right? So, <laughs> so we're just going to strengthen that for you. Like, it's coming up that you, like a lot of people, have compartmentalized yourself to get through this. And so these three uh -huh. cards are basically saying, you know, integration. Th this is the, uh, my integrity card. 
And so integrity um, is also, or sorry, it's, it, I had it upside down here. My, my crew would do a lot better job. <laughs> but I just couldn't get back from the, <laughs> the gong show at the, <laughs> at the licensing office. <laughs> so, um, but what's coming up is integrity. And so, the, um, but integrity is also about physical integration. And so it's coming up for you, like when people are under a lot of stress, um, that generally, like, see, if, a, if someone has a, a physical issue, the root cause will generally not be physical. It will be, like, emotions or whatever. And so when you have the whole planet emotional like this, and especially at this time of year is coming up where a lot of people want to get together and everybody's tired, <laughs> So let's all like just take a deep breath. We've got a couple minutes here left here, and I'm just gonna pull one more card. Interesting. This is Taurus energy. <laughs> Venus. This is about pleasures in life, and this is about um, Earth. This is Earth. This is like fundamentally when you said that. Should I take a course and better myself, or should I? Um, panic and worry definitely take whatever feels strong to you to do at that time to improve yourself the best investment that you can have right now is in yourself so I want to thank everybody <laughs> for um, you know for um, phoning in and I'm sorry I didn't get to all of you um, but I felt that um, our beautiful um, caller here really really is a really good baseline for how a lot of uh, um, people are feeling right now. And so I just wanted to once again say thank you so much to um, Pat and, and the team there. And thank you, David, for producing the show. Thank you to the callers calling in. Thank you to uh, the wonderful audience. And oh my God, thank you everybody for all the beautiful birthday wishes. And I just feel really, really blessed. Bye for now. We'll see you next Wednesday.